Hey, I'm Travis with Diesel Laptops, and today we're going to be going over the functionalities using the Diesel Laptops Off-Highway Kit powered by Kajali. The first thing you'll notice upon opening the Diesel Laptops Off-Highway Kit powered by Gel Test is the desktop launcher. This is going to house all of your programs, including the software itself, as well as give you the ability to chat with live support. And once you've opened the diagnostic software, you've really got two different modules there, your AG and your construction so it's a matter of which two modules you bought um, as well as you've also got the diesel laptops icon built into the top of here so you can quickly get back to that service information or if you need to contact technical support you can do so relatively easy we're going to start on the agricultural side i'm just going to scroll down you see all the major brands covered here everything you can pretty much think of from case john deere you've got the isobus control down here kubota mahindra all the way down here to the bottom, to Yanmar and Zetor. We're going to go through, we'll look at a demo on a case. So once you click this, you've got all your series here on the left, and on the right, you've got every possible option. And you can narrow that down up top if you need to. Um, you see pretty much all the models you can think of there. We're going to go through, and we'll, we'll choose one of these real quick, just something pretty common that we can go through. Let's go down here to a maximum series and we'll do something with the final tier four. Something new here. On the right hand side, you've got all your different modules. So you're not just communicating with the engine, you're able to communicate with these other systems. And you can come through here and do system scans for main systems or all, or even go directly to your frequent tests and just go directly to what it is you need to do from there. We're gonna go ahead and connect into the engine you got a connectors tab, so it's going to tell you what connector you need, where to find the location, and if you are in a case where you need a pinout kit, click the multi-pins, and that tells you which pins to connect this software to. So this is really technician-friendly and easy to use. Get ourselves connected. And you're going to have a menu system that's like this, no matter what it is you're connected to. Most importantly, read and fault codes first, and that's why you're connecting. So. We can go to our fault codes, we can click this I button next to it, that's going to give us a freeze frame data, and then you also get a helping components of the fault, which is just kind of some possible causes there. Or you can click the diesel laptops icon, get into any of our software programs, and diagnose it further if you need to. Again, you can chat with that live support there as well. We'll go back. And you can clear from this fault codes tab instead of having to do that from the main menu, which is really helpful. Your system data, it's going to be read only, but this is going to give you that operational data as well as just the ECU data letting you know what it is you're connected to. Monitoring tab, you've got live selection or live data selection in here. And you can actually select all but you can add triggers to these. So if there's something specific you're looking at, you can go in there and change it. You want to be alerted when it's more than, less than to that value. And we're just going to fill one out here for RPM so you can see what this looks like. And you've got two different ways you can view it. So you can do it interactively or you can do it through the selected measurements. It's really up to the technician's choice and which way they prefer at that point. And they, you just scroll across here for the different pages. They actually allow you to pause this as well, so if you want to see something, you can save this, and this will actually show up on the reporting features, which are really nice. They let the technician, or the shop, I guess, rather, know exactly what the technician did if he ran any tests or anything to see what was happening. System display. It's just going to be a pictorial representation, so you'll choose which system you want to look at, and you can still scroll through them independently up here, no matter what you've chosen, um, once you get into it. These work great, and you can kind of see how that system works while you're diagnosing it. Hit our back button, actuate. So these are going to be things you can actuate. These are going to be, you know, your common tests, cylinder cutouts. Um, you got fan tests. You got your metering valve down there, and then your system checks. It's going to be the rest of your tests. So you see here some of your def tests. You see the VGT test. Really good coverage out of this tool on these systems. Go back. Actually, let's show you how these tests look, because these are really nice, too. Let's go in here. Um, you do have an expert mode, so you can keep some of your less experienced techs from 
doing certain commands if you want to as well through a code. Um, but these tests give you beforehand a good idea of what you're fixing to be doing. So click that. And this part here really helps because you're able to know, you know, what conditions do I need to meet beforehand? And then you're going to get that live data too while that test is happening. And then, of course, it's going to ask you to reset the key there. Anytime you run a test, you're going to get these graphs, and this is what's going to show up on that reporting feature. So you can see everything that happened there. New parameters tabs, this is going to be things you can go in here and change. So in this case, you'll see injector coding, um, and then your maintenance. So you're also able to clear your D-rate, you see there with the starter counter reset. And then you've got all your other replacement of components down here for like pressure relief valves and things. And you can expect the same sort of functionality, no matter which system it is you're working on. If we come down here, we'll look at the remotes on it. Let's go down to our remotes, get ourselves connected. And again, the menu system set up the same way. And we'll get our live data from them. Just hit select all so you can see it all. Magnifying glass. And this gives us the status of those as well as the voltage. All right. Actuate, so you've got your cylinder valve test here. Under the parameters tab, you can actually come in here and do your codes for the spool valves or if you need to change how many are installed. Calibrations, you can calibrate those levers. Walk you through this and show you what this looks like. So it's going to walk you through that entire process here. In this case, you see a manual calibration needs to be done. It'll actually open that document for that technician. So then he can read how to do that manually if it's not done through the actual module itself. Really helpful information you get with this tool. Um, and again, it's going to support more than just your engine modules. Your off-highway side is going to operate the exact same way. You will have some in here that have a machine system scan, like you see up top here with Caterpillar. If you run that, it's going to automatically find those modules. You don't even have to choose the model you're working on. All right, and then we look at functionality on this side. Again, it's going to work the exact same way as anything else. You got our system checks here for cutouts or buzz tests. Um, and here you can code and exchange your injectors as well in the parameters tab, maintenance tab run that regen, do that sulfation recovery process. We'll look at another module here, so we'll disconnect real quick. We'll look at the hydraulic system, so you can see all the different calibrations and things this tool will do. So we'll just go directly down here to it. Calibrations, you've got all your different control levers, the control valves, and then all the way down here to the actual position sensors. So. I'll show you. We'll do the raise valve, accept. You see here again, you get that nice representation explaining you how to do that, followed by the actual component calibration here. It's going to walk you through it. You'll be able to see up top here, the instructions kind of change as we click accept for each one of these. So as we do so, you can see that change up top, your instructions for your different parts of this calibration process. Okay. Finish this one out. And the calibration is complete, so just as simple as that to do these things with this tool. We'll go ahead, we'll hit our back button here, get ourselves disconnected. And we'll look at a few other ones here. That way you guys can kind of see the functionality up. I'm going to jump into a John Deere now. Let's see some of the actuations. System checks here, so all your major tests, very similar to the OE tool here. Parameters, so you can do your codings for your different DPF, DOC, SCR, your maintenance in here. Uh, so you can run your regens, but you also most importantly see after treatment system fault clearing to clear your D-rate out. Your calibrations, you got EGR, VGT, and your throttle valve. Next one we want to take a quick look at is a Cummins QSB. So you can see system checks here, all your different tests, parameters tab, 
You can actually get in there and change things such as idle speeds and the like. Followed by maintenance, you can run that regen, that SER regen, and clear those inducement mode faults out that are causing the derate. Your calibrations here as well for your VGT, so the install and the actual calibration. One other thing you don't see on aftermarket tools is here in this configuration. So you've actually got passwords management. You can go in there and enter the password or clear a password if you need to. All right. The last section we want to talk about just a little bit here is going to be street sweepers. You can see all your major brands are covered here. Elgin, Johnson, uh, 10X down here. In the off-highway world, there's not a lot of options out there for you on the aftermarket side. And this is a great tool to allow you to be able to communicate with those pieces of machinery and repair them. For more information about this tool, reach out to us at 888-983-1975.